Hello, I'm Gary Howell. I'm the founder of Morgan Walsh Consultancy. We provide IT services to local government and commercial organisations. We're going to look at the water sense sensor by SenseEdge and specifically how to add the battery. The water sense is a very robust device in a plastic case, has a metal retaining ring, a plastic uh, cover and also a, a rubber grommet underneath to prevent water ingress. We're going to need a battery, which is a lithium 3.6 volt uh, AA size, an Allen key, and a suction cup. We first uh, remove the five retaining screws. Then the metal retaining ring, the plastic cover, and the grommet. Taking the suction cup, which is slightly moistened, place on the clear area of the PCB and press down. Gently lift the uh, PCB using the suction cup to release from the case. On the back we have an antenna and a battery holder. When we insert the battery, the device comes to life and sends out, as you can see from the light there, a join request to the LoRaWAN network. The case has uh, three recesses which accommodate the battery and the antenna. Also a silica gel packet uh, which allows uh, a reduction of moisture within inside the box itself. Putting the PCB back in the uh, case and ensuring that it's pressed down uh, so it's within the case and sitting on its seat. Now the grommet, there is a, uh, a small uh, cutout in the case to accommodate this. The plastic lid, which I recommend uh, you clean back and front. And taking the metal ring, it's sometimes useful to line up the holes and put in a couple of screws uh, first of all. Lining the screws up with the holes in the case, we now replace the five screws. And finally, uh, a tighten of the screws, not too tight, but enough to ensure that the uh, grommet is uh, squashed a little bit to ensure no water gets in. And there you have it, a battery added and ready for use. I hope you find it useful. Thank you.